Hinchcliffe's Indianapolis 500 Nightmare Continues Indianapolis U. James Hinchcliffe has lived this nightmare before when he failed to make the field for the 102nd Indianapolis 500 in 2018. Most nightmares, in the blink of an eye Saturday, in qualifications for the 103rd Indianapolis 500, the nightmare returned. Hinchcliffe began his initial qualification attempt at 1.20 p.m. Eastern Time, but on the second lap, Hinchcliffe's Honda did a half-spin in turn two and made hard left-side contact with the safer barrier. The car rotated, Hinchcliffe was able to climb out of the car with help from the AMRI and DYCAR safety team. Unlike last year, when Hinchcliffe was bumped out of the 33 car starting lineup by Connor Daly with 20 minutes remaining in the session, there was time to correct the issue. Last year, Hinchcliffe attempted to make a second attempt but had a vibration on his next qualification run. After correcting that, after his crash on Saturday, his Aero Schmidt Peterson Motorsports crew quickly prepared a backup Aero Honda with crew members from all three SPM teams pitching in, including teammates Marcus Ericsson and Oriol Serbia. The backup car was ready to roll about 4 p.m., and Hinchcliffe and crew returned to pit lane to the cheers of the fans at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. When team co-owner Hinchcliffe's first attempt was woefully slow and waved off when the four-lap average was 210.745 mph. The second attempt, the popular driver from Canada, gets one more attempt in Sunday's last row shootout. Coverage will begin, he is one of six drivers fighting for the final three positions in the 33 car starting lineup. The others include, Hinchcliffe must reset his mind and make one final four lap attempt to make the Indianapolis 500 field for the first time since 2017. Honestly, it's part of our job, Hinchcliffe said. It's what we do. Hinchcliffe's team did an incredible job getting his backup car together and ready to go in just under three hours. Huge credit to everybody at Aero Schmidt Peterson Motorsports, it was a big effort from the whole team to get that car out there, Hinchcliffe said. Everybody from E, it's a road course car, so it doesn't have all the extra love on it that the oval cars, the super speedway cars have, so we weren't really sure what to expect. We came out. Luckily, we've got a chance tomorrow. It got a lot of fake Hinchcliffe's accident was a big hit, but he was able to escape the massive impact uninjured. He made a quick trip, the car was a little bit loose in turns 3 and 4 but in 1 and 2 was solid, so actually I was just preparing to dial a bit of understeer in for the north end of the track, Hinchcliffe explained. I don't know if we I got to turn 2, and it just sort of suddenly snapped on me. I don't know if it were prepared. Obviously, it's pretty much worst case scenario. It's pretty much our no